December 24, 2025, marked a noteworthy milestone for Russia's aviation sector. The experimental prototype of the LMS-901 Bukla light multipurpose aircraft conducted its inaugural flight powered by a wholly domestically manufactured power plant, the VK-800SM turboprop engine, paired with the AV-901 propeller. The flight took place at the Ural Civil Aviation Plant airfield and signified the transition of the program into a critical phase, namely the simultaneous flight testing of the engine and propeller as an integrated aircraft system. Test pilots confirmed that the flight proceeded routinely and without any noteworthy incidents. The aircraft demonstrated stable performance, excellent controllability, and consistent handling characteristics, while the power plant operated properly across all specified operating regimes. During the flight, the aircraft reached a speed of approximately 210 km per hour, which is about 130 miles per hour, and an altitude of up to 400 meters, which is roughly 1,300 feet, fully consistent with the objectives of an initial test sortie. The LMS-901 Baikal is being developed by the Ural Civil Aviation Plant under a contract with the Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade as part of a broader initiative to modernize aircraft fleets operating on domestic and regional air routes. Its principal goal is to replace the morally and technically outdated AN-2 and AN-3 aircraft, which for decades served as the backbone of regional aviation, but have long since reached the limits of their technological capability and operational service life. The Baikal is designed as a nine-seat light multi-purpose aircraft with a spacious cargo compartment that can be rapidly reconfigured for passenger transport, cargo and mail delivery, medical evacuation, or specialized mission profiles. Particular emphasis has been placed on operations in remote and hard-to-access regions with limited aviation infrastructure, including the Far East, the Arctic, and large areas of Siberia. The aircraft's design philosophy prioritizes operational simplicity, reliability, fuel efficiency, and the ability to function effectively in harsh climatic conditions. As a result, the selection and development of a suitable power plant became a defining and central element of the entire program. The VK-800 turboprop engine, developed by the Ural Civil Aviation Plant, occupies a class of propulsion systems that until recently lacked a comparable serially produced alternative within the Russian Federation. Historically, engines in this category were supplied by Western manufacturers and widely used on light and regional aircraft, access to which has been significantly constrained in recent years. The VK-800 is intended not only to replace imported engines, but also to serve as the technological backbone for a family of domestic aircraft projects. In addition to the Baikal, the engine is planned for use on the UTS-800 basic trainer aircraft, the Russian-Belarusian regional aircraft LMS-192 Osve, and projects aimed at re-engining localized L410 aircraft. Depending on the application, the engine's maximum power output ranges from approximately 807 to 870 horsepower. The VK-800SM variant installed on the Baikal produces 877 horsepower, providing the required performance for takeoff, cruise flight, and long-term operational reliability. The AV-901 propeller represents another important step toward full import substitution within the program. It is a feathering and reversible propeller of single acting configuration using a direct layout with one hydraulic control channel. Development of the AV-901 began in the year 2022 and was conceived from the outset as a fully domestically manufactured system. The propeller can operate at rotational speeds of up to 1,900 revolutions per minute while absorbing a power input of 877 horsepower. Its calculated maximum static thrust is at least 15 kilonewtons, equivalent to approximately 1,400 to 1,500 kilograms of force. All components of the propeller are produced using domestically sourced materials, a factor of particular importance under current conditions, 
emphasizing technological sovereignty. Prior to the first flight, specialists at the Ural Civil Aviation Plant conducted an extensive series of ground-based tests on the power plant. These included verification of stable engine operation across all designated regimes, evaluation of throttle response and acceleration characteristics, and testing of emergency engine shutdown and emergency propeller feathering procedures. Special attention was given to fuel system performance, vibration behavior, and overall operational stability. According to the post-flight assessment provided by the test pilots, the aircraft maintained stability and controllability throughout the tested portion of the flight envelope. The power plant functioned without any anomalies during the entire sortie. Both primary and backup systems operated correctly, confirming the sound integration of the engine and propeller with the aircraft. The first half of the year, 2025, saw a noticeable increase in negative media coverage surrounding the LMS 901 Baikal program. A number of sensationalist reports claimed that the project had allegedly been suspended, that it would require three to five years of extensive redesign, or that it lacked realistic prospects altogether. Such claims were typically attributed to vague and unverified sources, often described as unnamed interlocutors or individuals allegedly close to the industry, without accountability or technical substantiation. Despite this, the narrative spread widely and contributed to a distorted public perception of the program's actual status. The events of December 24, 2025, directly contradicted these claims. Within the time frame previously stated by the developer, the aircraft entered flight testing, equipped with a new domestic engine and propeller. On the very date when critics suggested the program would remain stalled, the Baikal successfully took to the air. The initiation of flight testing at the close of 2025 fully aligns with the publicly announced project schedule. Certification of the VK-800 engine and the AV-901 propeller is planned for the year 2026. During the same year, the LMS-901 Baikal is expected to receive its type certification. Representatives of the Ural Civil Aviation Plant had openly discussed these timelines as early as November 2025, well before the inaugural flight. There were no emergency program changes, no hidden crises, and no abrupt suspensions, only steady progress accompanied by external informational noise. The development of the VK-800 engine required considerable time and effort. Information shared over the years within aviation forums indicates that early design concepts underwent substantial revision throughout the development process. As a result, several distinct variants are now under development or testing, each tailored to specific aircraft applications. This lengthy development phase was not without challenges. However, it ultimately enabled the delivery of a mature, production-ready engine rather than a rushed interim solution created merely to satisfy reporting deadlines. The first flight of the Baikal equipped with the VK-800SM provides concrete confirmation that this approach was justified. Following the successful maiden flight, the program now advances into a planned phase of expanded flight testing. Aircraft performance will be evaluated across a wider range of operating conditions, while long-term reliability and ease of maintenance will be assessed under realistic operational scenarios. It is already apparent that public discussion around the program may continue to evolve. Once technical criticisms lose relevance, attention often shifts toward cost considerations and schedule debates. This pattern is common in large-scale industrial projects, particularly when significant technical shortcomings fail to materialize. The first flight of the fully import substituted Baikal, powered by a domestically produced engine and propeller, represents not only a technical success, but also a symbolic achievement for the aviation industry. It demonstrates that Russia's aviation sector remains capable of delivering complex systems on schedule, even amid external pressure and sustained skepticism. 
Based on the test programs of the VK800 SM engine, numerous ground tests were conducted, which also included taxiing, high-speed runs and approaches utilizing the LMS901 aircraft outfitted with this power unit. Tests are carried out according to test programs. The results obtained made it possible to start high-speed runs and flights. The main parameters of the power plant in normal characteristics are expected according to calculations. If you like the video, please subscribe, share and like. Also, please take the memberships to encourage us.